So it blows my mind how stupid people are. I mean, you always hear that, okay, people are the worst, but people are real dumb, especially when they are committing crimes. Like last week, when hundreds, or I should say two weeks ago, when hundreds of people broke down barriers and stormed the Capitol, uh, complete with zip ties and, uh, you know, ready to take Capitol folks hostage. There's a zip tie guy there. And they beat folks who claimed to back the blue, took American flags, and beat cops with it. They also broke into congressional offices and destroyed them and again, threaten the lives of Congress makers, of, of lawmakers. But somehow, some way, they didn't think they would get into any trouble. Which is batshit crazy to me. And I've seen a lot of these folks, and it, it blows my mind. A lot of these folks who are who have been tracked down, who are facing charges, who've gotten arrested, and how they're like, well, I, just was, I was just doing what President Trump was telling me to do, right? Like, I just... Yeah, I was storming the Capitol, but I wasn't really doing anything bad, right? I mean, it's we own this house, and I, I saw one clip from it. It's a little long, but I think it definitely showed uh, shows me, and it should show all of us, like, this explains why they were not afraid at all. That these people were so unafraid of the cops who were sparsely distributed through our Capitol, which hasn't been breached since 1812, when it was burned. The reason they could easily and casually, with their cameras on, film themselves throwing things through the walls of our Capitol, our property, going inside the Capitol, sitting in uh, Speaker Pelosi's office, casually take pictures of themselves, have that played on Fox News, they know that they are not in jeopardy because the cops are taking selfies with them, walking them down the steps to make sure they're not hurt, taking care with their bodies, not like they treated Freddie Gray's body, White Americans aren't afraid of the cops. White Americans are never afraid of the cops, even when they're committing insurrection, even when they're engaged in attempting to occupy our capital to steal the votes of people who look like me. Because in their minds, they own this country, they own that capital, they own the cops, the cops work for them, and people like me have no damn right to try to elect a president. Yes. If that's why they were not afraid, could because, hey, they didn't know, sh you know, they thought shit was going to happen to them. And if you've seen that viral image of the Capitol during the BLM protest, covered with National Guards, and then saw what happened, um, you know, when, uh, during this uh, Stop the Steal rally, then you can kind of see clearly, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. Uh, look that up, because it clearly shows that the folks who served the Capitol were just not afraid, because they knew they weren't going to face nearly the same kind of backlash. But... After a good time storming the Capitol, a lot of these dude bros jumped on uh, social media trying to get laid. You know, swipe right if you like domestic terrorism. And some women actually are swiping right. And some women are, uh, you know, they're uh, like, hey, you, uh, you like to do some insurrection there? I'm into insurrection. Why don't you send me some pictures of you at the Capitol, right? That'll really kind of get me going. And so... Uh, and in one woman's case, she's taking those pictures and sending them directly to the FBI. Oops. And so I want to take a moment, just one second, to uh, you know thank these ladies for doing their patriotic duty. For helping to save America one dude bro at a time. And <laughs> Kelly, I was trying to think of some kind of counter argument as to why this is a bad thing. But I couldn't come up with shit. Uh, you got anything? I, I mean, when you said trying to come up with something, uh, I didn't think that's where you were going to go. wasn't prepared for it. This is what I thought you were going to say. I was trying to come up with some good headlines for this, like bumbling bumblers beat on Bumble <laughs> or brilliant yeah. bumblers beat bumblers. Uh, yeah, uh, it's just it's good, clean fun. Um, you know, like, let's let's be real. Um, anybody who's ever seen an episode of Cops or anything else could tell you uh, you don't want your face on camera while committing a crime. Uh, so the fact that so many people in the midst of committing crimes were like, oh, selfie time, or then later posted like, you know, we were talking about there's a, there's a picture a guy posted that's now in a court affidavit, um, you know, where he had singled himself out and had an arrow pointing to him saying, this is me. Uh, so yeah, I mean, people, 
you know, I mean, look, look, that's, uh, you know, the crime stoppers tips, you know, most of those come from people's, uh, exes, uh, you know, uh, friends, family, but a lot of exes out there. Uh, yep. so I don't, I don't think it's, it's, uh, surprising people are getting turned in for this at all. I don't think it's, uh, surprising at all that people are doing it this way. I do think it's very funny that they took the political leaning off of Bumble as a result of this. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess it's not really on brand, but exactly and that's one of those things where like yeah people are shocked that you know amazon and apple um and google will you know pulled parlor off all their stuff and it's like look i don't know why people are shocked about that i mean you know same thing with bumble i mean for a lot of companies they just don't want shit to do with politics whatsoever because at some yeah. point you're gonna fall into bats you know people just they don't want shit to do with politics especially if you're a business owner um, yeah, and especially if your business doesn't have to do with politics, you want to stay as far away from the politics. Exactly. Like, how, like, and that's one of those things. People are like, well, there's millions of people on, on Parler. And it's like, there's millions more people on all these other apps. Why would, you know, why would they yeah. threaten their well, business for, for this? And, I mean, really, they, they, they got rid of Parler for the same reason that Gab fell out of favor. You know, they were afraid that somebody was going to um you know commit a, a violent act and use parlor to do it and that they would be held liable you know maybe maybe uh not even successfully in court but in the public eye um of, you know why'd you why'd you allow this to go on um if you knew the threat it presented i mean because that's that's why parlor became so successful as gab fell out of favor after um you know a guy who was who was big into gab um committed the worst attack on a synagogue in American history. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, that, I don't think this is uh, censorship at all. I don't, I don't think this is part of the cancel culture to, uh, uh, if somebody's dumb enough to send you a picture of them committing a crime and you want to send that to the police, I think that's fair game. Oh, yeah. No, honestly, and it's, yeah, I mean, it, it's just funny, you know. I always try to f wrap up a photo yeah. show with a funny story, and I'm like, actually, I actually think you might have gave me this one. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, the fact that these guys are like, oh yeah, you want to see some cool shit? Here's a picture of me storming the Capitol, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know who FBI. fell for it. You know, that really revs my engine. Let me see you stealing the podium or whatever, and then uh, guys were like, oh sure. Uh, oh yeah, and it's one of those things I've. Include the spear. Yeah, this guy, like, just look at the shit eating grin on his face, stealing the podium. Like, it's one of those things, like, you really got a sense, like, yeah, you know, that whole Joy Reid clip that I include. And I include that, you know, I get some people are not a huge fan of hers. Totally understand that. But she made a great point there where they didn't give a shit about getting in trouble. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw, to her point, I saw a video today of a Capitol Police officer in the rotunda talking to Jake Angeli, the, the, QAnon shaman guy with his, his neo-Nazi tats and everything. Uh, you know, just kind of like, oh, hey, man, are you guys going to like get out of here soon? And then telling another guy, like, oh, careful, walking down the steps, don't want to trip. Like, it wasn't like, hey, man, you can't be in here. It was like weirdly polite. I don't, you know, I mean, uh, I just... I didn't know that if I went around committing crimes in front of the police that they were expected to be polite to me about it. I, uh, generally speaking, um, that's not the reception I've seen it, uh, receive. Uh, I know, uh, you and I have, uh, uh, watched a couple of people have, uh, what's called interactions with the, uh, the police. And yeah. I don't, I don't think, uh, you know, in those, those interactions that, uh, police were like, well, hey, man, you know, just uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, stop doing crimes. You know, they were, you know, it was, uh, it was a very different response. Uh, I'm about to say, yeah, you call them interactions very white of you, Kelly, but it's one of those fun <laughs> things. I'm always like, yeah, hey, if I'm going out with something, I got to have Kelly, got to have one of the white guys around, because I won't get, you know, you guys are great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're out there, and if you're black, get a white person in your life. Like, well, so hey, man, like I said, I didn't didn't know I could just do crimes in front of the cops. You know, might have to might have to up my uh, my quotient of crimes. Uh, you know, now instead of just you know illegally streaming or something, you know, maybe maybe I'm going to go start stealing donuts in front of cops or something. I don't know. Maybe, um, but, but again, I just somehow don't think unless you know maybe I'm stealing the maybe the, the donuts are Q shaped that could get away with it. I don't I don't know what I don't know where the line is. I don't know. It's very confusing for me. 
Who knows? But again, <clears throat> as we wrap this segment up, I will salute the ladies of Bumble out there. And thank you for doing your patriotic duty for, uh, you know, getting some of these assholes here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, maybe, maybe just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all politics and news and all the stuff that's going on in our country?